So Create Studio gave us some new transitions the other day. So let me show you really quickly. I just did something silly. Um, nothing that's too fancy, but I just did a quick change of, um, Bella's outfit and I used two of them. One was reveal up and one was reveal down. And then I also used a one click transition on the backgrounds and I'll show you how to do that. Um, here I just used two video files and did a transition between the two video files. So what Create Studio did was we have our one click reveal transitions. I do have a tutorial on that and I can link to it in the description of this video. Um, those still exist and they added a few new ones. We have, what do we have? Eight, 11 of them? 11 new ones to go with all of the other ones that we have. What they added in addition to those specific um, reveals, uh, transitions, is they also are now letting us click between two elements on the same line of the um, on the timeline. I don't know. I'm having a trouble talking today. And all you do is you have them abutted. And if you hover over where they're seeming together, you're going to see the green. You click on that and you're going to get all of the transitions that you also have in your one click transitions, the new ones and all the other ones. Let me see. This is the one that I did. Which one is this? That's the reveal up. So here I had reveal down. You can click and drag it so that the transition will take a longer period of time. Or you can shorten it. So you can make it however you want it to be. So what I also did is once in the past when we used the one click transition, you would have to group all of the elements together and then have one group transition to the next group. So I wanted to try, let's do a one click transition with some backgrounds. Let's use the new transition on the characters and you can do it however you really want to. So let's look at um, some different ones that we can use. I just took here we are having a Zoom meeting and then we're all happy because we solved all the problems that we were having. And so you can choose from all sorts of different, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd like that one, but that actually is a cool transition, not for this scene, but for another one. Um, you have the fading. I've used Dream Out a lot. That was what I used in the, um, superhero transition. So all you have to do is just keep clicking and, and just testing out all that you want to try. Oh, I still have that. That's why I'm not scrolling. So you can just give all of these different try. That's not too bad. That actually might be better than the one I had. But there are your new transitions that are for your one click transitions. If you have the elements, just remember that the elements that are transitioning, you have to have it on the top. If you have it on the bottom, the one click doesn't show up. It will only show up if it's on top. Um, I don't remember what I had there. And now you can seam two together on the same line by clicking between the two elements just like that. So hope you enjoy them. Have fun.